This is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO of Customized Minds. Thank you as always for coming back with me, getting some more great information, content that's going to inspire and empower your life. You know we got another great topic, so let's dive straight in on today. We are going to be talking about the chapters of your life. So I ask the question, is there a chapter of your life you're stuck on? Are you stuck on chapters of your life? Did you know that you might be stuck on chapters in your life? Well, I'm going to break it down very, very simple to layman terms that we can all understand. All right? You've seen fairy tales, right? You watch movies. You, you, you have seen stories shown in the movie theaters or on TV, Netflix, whatever you watch. You've seen stories, right? You've seen movies. So I asked you the question. What's typically the storyline? Just overall 30,000 feet high level, right? What is the storyline? They're all different in between, but what is overall the storyline? It pretty much goes like this. You get introduced to the characters and what's going on. They may be in a bad situation or they may be in a good situation, right? Then you get to the middle that you know things start to look up or they're going through kind of a rough period where life is just happening to them. Then the movie starts to move, move along to where uh, you start to see the bright side and kind of things, you know, looking up. And then at the end, you have the fairy tale ending. Is that not typically how most movies, most action, you know, whatever the case may be go? Now relate that to your life. Your life is really like a movie. You start out born, whether it be a bad situation or uh, okay or a very pleasant situation. But then you grow up, you start to experience life and it starts to, you know, kind of waver and you, you know, you start to go back and forth regardless of the experiences that happen with you, good or bad, because we all have good and bad experience happens to us. I don't care where you grew up, what you're going through, you have had good as well as bad experience happens to you. So you're in the middle, you're up and down. And then as you go through those situations, as you go through those experiences, things kind of start to really do look up. And then ultimately at the end, you have a happy fairy tale ending. But I want you to catch this. I want you to catch and understand that, that the third and fourth part of the story is really totally up to you. See, you're, you're, you don't control the beginning. The beginning is given to all of us, regardless of where we start. You really kind of don't control the second chapter of your life, the second part of the story, because you're an infant, you're a toddler, you, you are growing, you're at the mercy of your caregivers, of your parents, and you can't really influence and control those situations. But once you get out of the house, once you start to be your own individual, your own person, really moving into that third part chapter of your life, that is my friends where you're able to control your story. So if you're in the third part of your life, you're out of the house, you're on your own, you understand life, you get it, you're an adult, but you are holding on to chapter one and two, as an excuse that's impacting three and then I'll ultimately determine your number four, my friends, you need to let go of those chapters of your life. Are you stuck in a chapter of your life? Understand that you can't have that fairy tale. Understand you are going to have to go through number one to get here. Nobody has went through chapter one and that is alive here today or has been here and has not done chapter one. There's nobody that has died, that has passed, that has not experienced chapter two. I don't care if you only live, unfortunately, just for a few hours. You went through chapter two. You still go through chapter three, regardless of what area, what state of being that you are in. And we all have a chapter four. One, Two and four are promised. Three is in your control. Did you get that? One, two, and four are all promised to all of us. Chapter three, you, my friend, you are in control. So don't get stuck 
on chapter four, trying to figure out how is your life going to end. Don't get stuck on chapter one, blaming how your life begun. And don't get stuck on chapter two, blaming what happened to you. Focus on chapter three, because that is the living, that is the now, that is the blessing that you have. And my friends, you will be successful at whatever you put your mind to. As I always say, you have exactly what you say now. If you believe it now, it's yours to have right now today. The power, life, and death is in the tongue. More importantly than the mind, but first you got to believe in the heart. Take care, share it, bring back a friend. I'll see you here on the next one. Thank you.